Um, well, I think seeing somebody with a new onset of a psychotic disorder is probably going to be an uncommon experience for most GPs. Um, but research studies suggest there's a substantially larger pool of individuals in the population who are troubled by psychotic experiences such as hearing voices or having paranoid beliefs, even though these aren't severe enough for them to meet diagnostic criteria for a psychotic disorder. So in fact, about a third of them transition from this at-risk state to a psychotic disorder over a three-year period. Some GPs were not familiar with the concept of being at risk of developing psychosis. And some GPs mentioned that their focus was on more common mental health illnesses, such as depression and anxiety. And for example, once a patient met the criteria for a more common mental health illness, um, GPs would not always screen for psychotic symptoms. One implication might be that GPs could routinely ask patients with depression or anxiety about psychotic symptoms. And they could do this, for example, by asking whether the patient's ever heard or seen anything that other people cannot, or whether they believe that others are watching them or trying to harm them in some way. And this could be introduced by explaining that we know that these experiences are not uncommonly reported by people who are feeling depressed or anxious.